Hi guys, it's Mother Gaming Guy again. Um, I just want to make a quick video on the clan games. So, as you can see, uh, they started last night. Well, no, sorry, this morning, 8 a.m. Um, you only have two days to play them, so I do recommend you get onto it. Um, so, yeah, just a quick overview. Bottom left, you have the duration left, in this case, one day, 22 hours to go before they finish. Just below that you have your score. Um, I've actually done some challenges, so I've got 350 medals out of 500. Um, these here are your um, games and challenges that you can do to earn. So if you just click on them, it gives you a little um, description. And that way you can see if you can do it or not. In that case, I can't do this one because it's a witch and I have not yet unlocked the witch. So. What you can do with those is you can actually just pass them to your teammates. So what I mean by that is say you selected one and you couldn't do it. You hit the button trash and it goes away. Now I won't hit trash on this one because I know I can do it. Um, and obviously 9 out of 15 so I'm almost there. Um, so once you hit trash you have to wait a while before you get the next um, challenge that you can accept. Um, it's just designed like that. So most of, well actually all of the ones I've picked so far, I've done, and uh, these are the ones I've got left to do, but each time you do one, another challenge appears. So even though it might look like you can't do any of them, um, except one, do the one, and you will see that another one will appear in the bottom. So it's just pushing along really. This part at the bottom is just basically the total number of medals. As you can see the green uh, bubble with the number one in it is just kind of your level and i'll show you what that means in a sec now this here clan is basically what your clans done what they've achieved and how much medals they have so as you can see my one is still asleep as they're on the other side of the world um so yeah once they wake up we'll hopefully get a lot more trophies here and this all falls on to the final tab rewards so, as you can see the bubble one at the bottom, that's that first column right there, tap info on that, and this is what you'd be able to get. So, it's beneficial for you and your clan to achieve as much medals as you can, because then as you can see you can work your way on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and so on and so forth. Um, and if you look at the one that says number four, the bubble with number four in it, in Roman numerals, you can actually get 1560 dark elixir 50 gems and 312,000 um gold so it is worth it um but what i think actually makes it worth it a little more is these these potions and i'll give you a quick talk through these which is basically easier if I just go into here and as you can see at the bottom right it says magic items which is a new addition to the clan castle um, and I'll just show you that so the first one is just a book of fighting which is basically it instantly completes any ongoing troop upgrade which I think is wicked because um, depending what level you're on I think it's better for those that are on higher levels because a level 30 king can take up to yeah, roughly 30 days um no it can take up to like a few weeks if i'm honest so for those people this is very 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 good uh obviously it's good for those with lower town holds because i mean waiting four five days for um your hero to upgrade you know it's you know sorry your um troops to upgrade it is a very long time and as you can see i am still waiting 10 hours on my balloons to update, sorry, my um, wall breaker to update, I forgot the name for a second. Um, but yeah, um, next I am hoping to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A. and as you can see I have been piling up my purple elixir, so hopefully that should work out. And the next one is the book of buildings, so this is basically the same spell but for buildings. You can complete any building upgrade and for example i'll give you let's just say i was to do my town hall that would take 10 days as you can see there by the town hall icon 10 days that is a long time to wait now see i would have got the queen as new 
uh, so I wanted to upgrade it to level 2, I could use the hero spell which we're going on to, I'll just go on to it now, there we go, and this helps you upgrade your hero instantly, so if I was going from level 1 to 2 or 10 to 11 or 15 to 16, this would do it instantly and I think it's a huge benefit. Um, because waiting that long, honestly, it's just too long. Um, but yeah, the third spell was the Book of Spells. So it basically does the same thing for spells, instantly upgrades them um, as long as it's ongoing. Um, then we have our Book of Everything, which basically completes any ongoing upgrade. So it's kind of like all the previous um, three or four ones combined. So the previous four combined um into one basically but you can only do one i believe um so either the hero the building the troops or a spell not all of them unfortunately then we have the power potion which is basically um it just basically boosts your troops and your spell to the maximum um of your town hall level so my laboratory has everything maxed out, so for me that's kind of pointless if I'm honest. Um, apart from my, you know, goblin, which probably go to level six, but there's no point in having that spell used at this town hall level. So, for me, if I was to upgrade this to town hall nine, and then use that spell, that'd be perfect because I'd be gaining an extra level on every single troop um, barbarians would go to level 6 so would my giants, archers, balloons um, wizards and obviously dragons and pekka and it would make a huge difference um, for me the main kind of um, bonus here would be my pekka would just kind of go up a few levels but it would be beneficial if everything could jump a few levels so I do recommend using that when you're not almost maxed out or when you haven't almost got all your troops maxed out um, because a lot of people tend to do that with the main troops do they not yes they do so the next spell is the resource potion so what this does is it kind of just boosts your resources for one day and yeah so you know it's like doubling your um per hour uh, production so yeah pretty good but at the same time right now you can actually boost for one gem so as you can see here the bottom um i'm not really boosting my elixir at the moment because i don't really need to um my gold i have uh, boosted them and obviously because there's six i've only done it for six uh gems um, and as you know, usually they don't cost one gem. The good news is this is lasting for seven days right here. Double resources for seven days and 22 hours. Well, only one gem. And we have finally the training potion. So it's kind of just like another boost for your barracks, your spell factories um kind of in one so how you would usually go into here and train your troops and then it would say boost into your spells and hit boost with this spell you actually don't have to because it does both of them for you um with the added bonus of your hero so you're actually saving on quite a bit of gems if i'm honest um Although it's not a lot for the heroes, five, but depending on what level you're on, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good um, addition, if I'm honest, the clan games. Uh, like I said, the more medals you get, the more perks you can get, uh, the higher the level you got to get to, to get the better spells, I would say. Um, but other than that, it is definitely worth doing. Um, I'm just going to work my way through these and see what else I can get out of it. Um, please like, subscribe and share. And if you want any videos on anything else, strategies or how to attack certain bases or if 
if you want to show me a video there of your attack and how you can improve it please send it to me or just you know write me a message at the bottom and i will get in touch with you um again thanks for watching and take care until next time